Each year, civilian forensic scientists at the Phoenix Police Crime Lab examine, reconstruct, and test hundreds of firearms. Aaron Hickson, a civilian, has been a forensic scientist with the city since 2004. She says her job involves many components. We're tying the guns to the crime scene or crime scene to crime scene. So um, we're using the evidence that's found at the scene that may be something that they never thought would be useful and we're able to tie it back to a gun. So we may have a, a partial, maybe a fragment of a bullet and we can test fire a gun that they think was involved and we can tie it to that scene. So there's a lot of different things we could do. And again, determining um, the distance determinations. We also do the comparisons. Um, maybe even a gun prediction. They found a, a bullet at the scene and they don't know what kind of gun it came from then we can take that bullet and do a prediction and let them know maybe what kind of gun they're looking for. Many of the guns that Aaron and other scientists work on are in pretty bad condition. Mike Meadow, another forensic scientist, says he's worked on weapons that have been practically demolished. A, a case that I actually worked, um, a individual running from the police for a crime committed and got in a car accident and when he exited his vehicle he threw his firearm over the abatement wall onto the 51 freeway and before the officers could get there the firearm had been run over multiple times uh, so when it came in to, to me in the lab uh, it was in, in disrepair severely multiple parts broken and in its condition there was no way I could shoot it so uh, if it wouldn't have been for our reference library of firearms so we had the same make and model in our, in our library I replaced all necessary components and function tested and actually shot the firearm and then was able to make a positive ID from the test fires back to the casings present at the scene. Civilians work on a wide range of guns from military to civil war models and everything in between. They say criminals are always trying to modify their guns for a variety of reasons. It's very common occurrence, especially with long guns, so shotguns and rifles for suspects to cut them down or shorten them in some way or another. Uh, primarily doing this for concealability. And it's very difficult to conceal something that's 40, 45 inches long, where if you can shorten it up to 18, 20 inches long, you can conceal it, whether it be on your person, a duffel bag, somewhere in your car. Uh, so like in this case, this specific shotgun, they've cut the barrel off and the, the buttstock so that it's, it's much shorter, uh, easier to wield around, most likely from a vehicle and uh, for concealability purposes. Last year, between five and 7,000 guns were impounded in Phoenix. Civilian forensic scientists worked on more than 300 weapons. As a result, many criminal cases were solved in the process because of the scientific work done here at the Phoenix Police Crime Lab.